Hey everyone, welcome to Traders Point Kids Online. If you're here with us for the first time, welcome. We're so glad you could join us. Now, let's get to what God has to teach us today. Who's excited? I am! Hey, me too! We're back with our next episode of Right On Time. Check it out! Well, hello, boys and girls. You're right on time. My name is Clara, and I live here in my cuckoo clock. I keep time moving right along each day so that everyone has fun as we play. Would you like to have a fun time with me today? Yes! You do? Well, tickety-talk. Just like any clock, my clock has two hands. One is big, and one is small. These hands tell me what time it is. Let's look at the big hand. What picture is the big hand on my clock pointing to? The music note. The music note, right. That means it's time to sing. Everyone, stand up and sing a song with me. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down Everybody praise the Lord Everybody sing Praise the Lord, praise the Lord Everybody praise the Lord When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down Everybody praise the Lord Praise the Lord, praise the Lord Everybody praise the Lord Everybody praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Love each other. Love each other. As brothers and sisters. As brothers and sisters. In honor of Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. God gave us family, we can help and love. We're gifts to each other from up above. You and me are the people we see. We're all part of God's family. Love each other, love each other. As brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters. Terrific! And would you look at that? The big hand is moving closer and closer to the next spot on our clock. When the big hand makes it to the next spot on my clock, there's a special song I sing. It goes like this. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. We're right on time. The big hand is pointing to a picture of a game. <laughs> well, that must mean it's game time. Let's play What's Missing. You see, we have a leaf, a dino bone, a leaf, a dino bone, and a leaf. What comes next in the pattern? Boys and girls, do you know what's missing? A dino bone. A dino bone, that's right. Hmm, I wonder where we could find one of those. Good idea. 
Maybe we can look for one at our next stop on the clock. Oh, the big hand is moving again, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, what feathering fun. <laughs> it's time for a Bible adventure. Today, we're going to the prehistoric time. That's when dinosaurs lived. So go ahead and put on your adventure hat. And don't forget to bring your fossil brush. Now flap your wings and fly on a Bible adventure with me. Why, hello there. You surprised me because not too many folks come out here for a visit. But if you are looking for a dinosaur bone, then you have definitely come to the right place. I'll even be happy to help you find one. But before you go, would you have time for a story? Yeah! Oh, great! The best way to hear a story out here with the dinosaurs is to click on your listening ears. Do it with me. Click. 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 Perfect. Now, you also need to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop. zoop. You're ready now. My favorite book to read for story time is the Bible. And one of my favorite people to read about is a man named Joseph. Let me hear all of you shout, Joseph. Joseph. You sound dino might. Now, when Joseph was younger, his brothers were not kind to him. They wanted Joseph to go away. So they sold him to a group of traders. These traders then took Joseph to a place called Egypt where Joseph began working for Potiphar. But you know what? God was with Joseph everywhere he went. God helped Joseph to be kind to the traders and to Potiphar. God also helped Potiphar be kind to Joseph. Let's all clap for Joseph and Potiphar. That's it. But while Joseph was working for Potiphar, someone else was not kind to him. They lied about him and had Joseph put in jail. But God helped Joseph be kind to the guard in charge and to all the other prisoners. The guard liked Joseph so much that he put Joseph in charge of all the other people in jail. There were two men in jail with Joseph who had very strange dreams. Hmm. God helped Joseph understand their dreams. So Joseph was kind to the men and explained what their dreams meant. One of the men that Joseph helped got out of jail but for two whole years, he forgot about how Joseph had been kind to him, and he didn't help Joseph get out of jail. Until one day, when he was working for the king of Egypt, the man heard that the king had a strange dream. Hmm. Then the man remembered how Joseph was kind, and he helped him understand his dream. So he told the king about Joseph, and then Joseph finally got to leave jail to help the king. Joseph was probably sad that he had to wait a long time for the man to be kind to him. And he was probably scared when he first went to jail. But God always helped Joseph be kind to others. Friends, God will help me and you be kind to others too. If you can be kind, let me hear you say this after me. Be kind. Be kind. Wow, thanks for taking the time to hear my story. And I almost forgot. Here's the bone you're looking for. I hope you have a dynamite trip back home. Goodbye. Tickety talk. Oh, we found what we needed. But the big hand is moving, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick tock goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. It's time to help. Lots of people need our help every day. Do you remember something we learned on our Bible adventure that could help someone else? Ah, yes. We learned to be kind. Everyone, say this after me. Be kind. Be kind. That's it. And look, here's someone we can help. This is Lydia. It's Dinosaur Day at Lydia's school. She has a very pretty dress with dinos on it. Oh, but it looks like Lydia is making fun of another kid at school because of how they look. 
we can help Lydia do what's right and be kind. Can Lydia do what's right by saying mean words to the other kids at school? Or by saying kind words? By saying kind words. You got it! It's time for us to help Lydia so that she and her friends can all play together on Dinosaur Day. Let's help Lydia by telling her what we learned on our Bible adventure today. Say it after me. Be kind. Be kind. Well, tickety-talk, we were right on time to help Lydia. She heard what we said, and now she's being kind to her friends. Lydia and her friends are having so much fun because Lydia is being kind. You and I can have fun when we are kind, too. You know, there's a verse from the Bible that tells us all about how God wants us to live every day. Say it after me. Love. Love. Being kind. Being kind. To others. To others. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Cuckoo! I can love being kind to others, and so can you. It's always a good time to be kind. Speaking of time, the clock is ticking, so let's sing my special cuckoo clock song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, it's time to sing again. I know just the song that can help us remember how God wants us to live. Stand up and let's sing it together. We've got time to travel. We're gonna do what's right. We're gonna love everybody. I will do what you say I will obey Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey I want to love, love, love I want to be, be kind I want to obey God And do what's right I want to love, love, love I want to be, be kind I want to obey God and do what's right. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. We've got time to travel. We're gonna do what's right. We're gonna love everybody. And we'll always be kind. Jesus, I will do what you say. I will obey. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Feathering fun. <laughs> time sure flies when you're having fun. It's time for me to go, but I hope you will come back soon. Cuckoo! Wow, we learned some really good stuff today. And the fun isn't over yet. Families, we provided you with something called a parent guide. You can find it at tpcc.org forward slash kids hyphen messages. First, click on today's message. Then over on the right side of the page, there's a box that says, engage with the message. There, you'll find a link to follow so that your family can connect and continue discussion to grow in God's word together. We hope to see you next week. Bye. <laughs>